What's up guys, North47 back again for some more of the Golf Club 2019 and today we are going to be doing the third round of the Players' Championship at TPC Sawgrass in the Emerald Golf Tour. As you can see, just sitting there at fourth place, uh, well tied for uh, tied for fourth, sorry, um, at 21 under, tied with uh, Tim. As you can see, uh, Jeffrey still holding the lead there at 26 under, but Lefty Leon has come in now to take second place for uh, 20, at 24 under. And Ty Cop still there at 23 under in third. Um, so hopefully get a pretty good round going now again in the in this third and final round. Let's see what the conditions are for this one. Okay, fairways and greens are soft and the green speed is slow and wind speed is low. And we've got some rain today as well. So uh, playing off pin set two again. I believe we played off pin set two in the second round as well. Um don't know if it was in the first round, I think it was pin set one in the first round, but uh, pin set two it is, so <clears throat> should uh, should be able to hopefully dial those shots in today, in this third round, with the uh, with the greens being soft and uh, playing slow as well, and especially with the, uh, with the low wind speed. Okay, so zero mile per hour. That is uh, definitely a low wind. Great opening tee shot. It's been a nice early morning setting. I didn't actually see the uh, the time of day. Uh, the sun just coming up. Okay, one twenty six. Um. With them being soft, it's only a one mile per hour wind. I'm gonna pretty much fully loft a pitching wedge. I'm not gonna mess around with the D loft on the uh, the gap wedge. I'm gonna see how see how a full loft on the pitching wedge will do. That should take it about 126 now. Oh, fast on the downswing, but it's holding relatively straight anyway. It's not too far left, and it has gone bang on 126, and it's just inside 10 feet. Looks to be little to no break, just a very, very slight bit of right to left, a little bit more than left or very, very subtle uh, left to right there in the middle. But it should hold pretty straight, and it's good for a birdie on the opening hole. I don't know if I'm going to get a flawless back, uh, sorry, not back, uh, but front nine like did in the first round, but... Let's see how it goes. That's a bit of a better drive there. A bit off to the side on the, uh, the base of the swing line, but once it's central at the top, it's the main thing. <coughs> okay, 225. Uh, I think we are going to just smash a four iron up there. That will do nicely. That's a very good swing there. Don't think it's going to run out very far though. I don't even think it's going to get onto the green. No, it's just going to run along the side of it. Put a little chip up. Should be perfect. Let's take a quick sip of beer there. Chilling out on this Saturday afternoon. Hope everybody uh, who, well, anybody uh, from America or the States or anybody, anywhere that does celebrate uh, Thanksgiving had a really good one. And I hope you survive Black Friday as well. <laughs> All the madness. Oh, go on, turn, 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 keep going, keep going. Oh, unlucky there. That was tracking all the way. Unfortunate for it not to just get that extra foot or so and drop in. Not even foot, uh, just 11 inches. Well, it says 12 there. But walk away with another birdie. <clears throat> okay, 176, 2 mile per hour wind. Just a slight touch of deal left on this one. Should be perfect. It should run up a little bit then. Very good strike. And it's tracking towards that pin all the way. Just come up, needed to sit. Hmm, that's not too bad at all. Inside 10 feet again. Was that little bit of D-Loft just helped it to run out that extra yard or two. Oh, oh, just caught that left edge and crept it in there. 
I thought that was going to be a missed put there. Not a great drive. Uh, nicely in the middle of the fairway. So this should be just, this could easily just be a, oh, just a lob wedge, yeah. That's what I was going to say. Should be just a lob wedge, if not a long pitch iron. Just put a tiny touch of loft on it. Just take that couple of yards off. Oh, fast downswing again. Oh, this has gone very long. That's wet again. This course just seems to, <laughs> seems to like putting me into the drink. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but I have actually noticed from watching back over the previous two rounds as well that it seems to be when I'm putting the slightest little bit of loft onto the shots is when it's happening. So I have to be mindful of that actually. So we are going to drop a shot. Oh, I should have stayed with the sand wedge there. I shouldn't have dropped it down to the lob wedge. Definitely dropping at least one shot here. Doesn't look like it's going to break too much. Should turn in for me. Oh, just a bit shy. So that's going to be a double bogey, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, definitely have to be mindful of that now with the... Um, with the loft that it's seen. I, as I said, I did notice that across the last two rounds when I was um, looking back over the videos before uploading them, um, that it did it did seem to be when I was putting a slight a slight touch of uh, loft or de-loft on, um, on the shots, that it was causing those fast or very fast downswings. Then again, it could be just completely down to myself, which it more than likely is actually. Um, just pushing forward, just that slightest, slightest little bit too quick, or quicker than I normally would. Uh, let me see, 161. It's going to be playing about one, uh, 157. So I'm actually going to put this right up there on the loft. Not even that much I'd say about there. Actually, no, back up because we are on a bit of a down slope. Or do I want to? It's gonna be, no, it's gonna be playing. Let me see, 156. So I think actually this could be perfect. A nine iron slightly de-lofted. Pushed it right. It's not going too far though. That's come up a little bit short. Could have put a little bit uh, more D-loft on that. Might have been better to actually go with the 8 iron. Uh, pretty almost about 3 quarter loft. Come on, turn in for me. It's good. Still get away. Still get a, get that birdie and walk away with it. <clears throat> Drill. Take us back to 2 under. So hopefully no more... Uh, Putting shots into water for this round. I think uh, I think I've done that enough throughout this event, to be honest. Okay, 91. Playing about 92. So it's definitely just a straight up, uh, pretty much a straight up lob wedge. Now I'm putting this slight bit of loft on it again. I'm gonna push it out just for that. Just for the fact the ball is above the feet, but let's see. Hopefully I can get the tempo right this time. That's much better. Just needed to get down. Come on, sit, sit, sit. That will do nicely. That's about four or five feet there. Only four feet. Perfect. And just very slightly right to left. Moves us to three under through six. So definitely not getting that flawless back. Or front, I'm saying back again, but uh, front nine. Very good drive. Should be safe in the fairway, so we'll speed that along. Okay, 121. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of loft on this, just so that little three mile per hour tailwind, and just put it. I'm gonna actually, yeah, actually, I'm gonna keep it pretty much straight at the pin. It should go left off the club face, but the wind should hold it relatively straight anyway. Great strike. It's tracking towards the pin. Come on, get up. I'll take that. About three feet there, maybe touching towards four. Again, just very, very slight right to left break on it. And in she goes for another birdie. Should finally hit level 60 after this round as well, actually. Okay, so yeah, it's pin set two again. Now we did, if I remember correctly, do full loft. Although I think we have more of a headwind, if I remember right, on the first round, on the second round. But we'll play it five wood anyway. Uh, yeah, four irons definitely. It's going to be too short, even with that slight tailwind. Great strike on that. That is nice and straight. Just needed to get down now and just try and sink its teeth in fairly quick. And that couldn't have come out any better. Absolutely great shot. Again, just a right edge. Just give it that weight. Just to take that slight, slight little break there for the three-footer. There's nothing worse than missing a putt inside six feet like that. <laughs> I've done it many times. I've missed I've missed one or two footers as well over the years. We're playing the golf club. Another great drive. Nicely in the fairway this time. Did end up in the rough in the second round. The wind's being calm. Should hopefully be able to maybe get to the green. 250. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the carrier of the club. 279. Playing about 280. No, so I'm not going to get the green. So definitely, yeah, we're going to play the two wood. Hopefully should come up a little bit short. Great strike. Yeah, that should be perfectly safe in the fairway. Won't end up in the rough this time. So that should be just a short little flop shot in now. With a lob wedge, which it will be. Just got to put a little bit of loft on it. Should get about pin high, if not just a little bit past the pin and come back a bit for me then. Oh, fast downswing, but I did really push it. But that fast, or fast downswing, should I say. That fast downswing did put the extra few yards on there as well. Again, doesn't look to be much break in this at all, just outside that right edge. Just getting that weight right, to be honest, but that looks good, and it is. Okay, so six under through nine. Driver should be perfectly safe here. Ooh, very slow, we're going in the trees. Oh, four right. <laughs> It's a shame the ball doesn't impact it to people, but uh, is it going to hit anyone? Ah, it just took that poor lady's foot out of it there. I think was it one of the Tiger Woods games? Was it 07 or 08? You could actually you could knock the crowd out by hitting them with the ball. Could have been f uh, a few of the Tiger games actually. Okay, this slight little bit of D left, just for the fact that we are in the rough, should be good. Perfect strike. It's coming a little left, but I didn't really... Oh, it's holding up a little bit as well, but it's on the green. Is it going to stay? No, just onto the fringe. <coughs> I do believe as well that uh, Phil Mickelson won the match between himself and Tiger Woods yesterday. The, uh, the was it $9 million wager match? didn't watch it myself I watched the very start of it I think it was uh, Natalie Gulbus I saw her briefly and then uh, started talking to Phil and Tiger um, before start before they started I kind of knocked it off then um, had to get the little fella to bed but I was watching uh, just before that the PGA classics showing the um, going through the 2005 Ford Championship at Doral where Tiger and Phil were battling each other throughout the whole thing 
And from the comments that I read, it wasn't a very, uh, it wasn't a very interesting match that they played, but definitely uh, the PGA Classics was uh, was an enjoyable watch just to see that again. Okay, 246. Uh, do I want to go to wood? I think I'm actually. I'm just going to lay it up over here. Two wood's going to be too long, even fully lofted, and there is the risk of severely pushing it right into the water. So, just going to lay it up with the five wood. I'm supposed to be trying to keep it in the cinematic camera if it goes into that now, the TV broadcast style. Now, do I want to flop or do I want to do a long chip? I think I'll do a flop. Take a chance on it. Good bit of loft on there. Good bit about there. Should be good. Hopefully it won't come back too far. Perfect strike. Now, it can come back. Come on. Come on back for me. Uh, could have put full loft on there. <clears throat> but not to worry. Doesn't look to be too much break again. Maybe just a cup or two outside. Looks good. And it's in. Perfect. So what does that take us to now? That will take us to 7 under. So we're on track to get double digits anyway. Great drive there. Should be safe in the fairway this time. Hopefully won't kick left into the bunker again. That's perfectly fine. And this should be just either a mid to long flop or a short pitch in. 46. Um, now, I know fully lofted on a pitch shot should carry the ball to about 47 to 49 yards <clears throat> on the lob wedge. But I think what I'll do... I'll take a chance. I'll go with a flop shot again. I'm going to deal off this a little bit. Just to give it that extra few yards. Now the pitching wedge doesn't really spin it back much. That will do perfectly. And in she goes for another birdie. Moving us to 8 under. Okay, 188 playing, about 187 with the elevation. Six iron is the club. But I am going to put some loft on there just to let it float in there and just have a bit more of a vertical descent. And then run out. That's a very nice strike. Very, very slight push, actually. Just looking at it now, as you can see, it has gone well to the right. But once it's not going left, that's the main thing. But that was pin. That's pin high. Perfect distance. Just a shame that I did push it off to the right there. Um, okay, just want to see those last few beads. There's not really much in it at all. It's down a foot, so it's going to be playing about 15. Save it there. Just get this one close. I'll be happy. I will not complain about taking a par. Come on, start turning in for me. I didn't give that the weight at all. Nope, came up well short there. Just did not want to run it past the hole too far, so I was a little bit too uh, a little bit too timid on that putt really. Had a good drive, slightly down the left of the swing plane, but not to worry, it's holding nice and straight. <clears throat> okay 151 we say 150 we say it's down three feet so 150 um yeah pretty much nine iron is going to be bang on the money for this hopefully <clears throat> should touch down around about 147 148 with that one mile per hour headwind fast backswing that's going to give it the extra yard or two it's heading straight for the pin by the looks of it a little bit right 149, I'll take that, it's about 4, maybe 5 feet, I'd say 4, oh 6 feet actually, it looked a lot closer from that angle, again it should be just outside the right edge here, just give it the weight to take that break, so 
So another birdie and we hit double digits on our par. With three to play after this one. <clears throat> okay, 165. Eight iron is perfect. Even with that little tailwind, I am not gonna touch the loft at all. This should be this should get it nice and close. Perfect strike. Come on, get up there. Get up. Oh, a little bit of a slope there. That's perfect. 165 it went. As I was hoping it would. And pretty much a straight shot. Just a slight little bit of left to right, but very, very little. So, 10 under par, 3 to play. We got revenge on that hole. Actually, I got a bogey on that hole in the last round. But the course, as I say, it just... Uh, every single round now I've been in the water. So, hopefully don't go into the water at all for the rest of this round now. There's only two holes to play after this one. There is water in play on all three. Uh, on all three of these holes, so hopefully but the pin will be well away well it's more towards the back of the green here actually so don't want to go too long uh fully lofted should take the yards off we're gonna take the chance that it doesn't go on too far perfect strike just needed to get down it's gonna stay dry either way anyway it'll be on the green but just how close is it gonna be I'll take that. It's about 15 feet by the looks of it. Oh, even better. Only 12 feet. Again, looked a little bit further. Doesn't look to be uh, too much break. I'm going to take 4 off that. So it's playing about 8 with the elevation. And uh, should be just about here. Go on, keep going, keep going. Again, just too timid. Didn't want it to run past, but... Uh, Again, actually, only just looking now. We're on the, on the 16th hole, and I'm only just looking. The green speeds are actually uh, 119. So they are playing quite slow indeed. I should have actually had a look at that a lot earlier in the round. Not on the 16th hole. Okay, 145. I'll say 144. Put it up to about three quarter loft. That should be perfect. Great strike. A little left of the pin by the looks of things. Yeah, but it should sit down pin height. It does, and that's only about six, maybe seven feet. Okay, should be just a left edge right here. And it's good. So that is 11 under. I think that's 11 under par now. 12 under. I have to apologize. Um, okay, so final hole. Great drive. I wanted to be extra careful there. I want to be extra careful now again on this uh, on this approach. Yeah, we don't uh, don't want to repeat it a second round, but it is the same pin position again. So 136. Um, do I want to even touch the loft? I think I do. Just a little bit. Just take a yard or two off. Let it hop up to the hole then. There's the fast downswing. I think that's what... Yep. Again. Again. So that's three rounds... <laughs> three rounds in a row. I have gone in the water twice in each round. Or did I go in... Did I go in the water twice uh, in the second round? I Once definitely anyway here on the 18th. Um, but again, as you can see, I put that slight bit of loft on it. I did not... I 100% did not push forward fast there. I made sure to be careful of that, and it still came out with a fast downswing. Now, that's a perfect strike there. And I didn't even touch the loft. And it's actually, it would have been perfect. I didn't even need to touch it. Look at that, 136 it went. So, hopefully, as with the second round, we can get away. It's pretty similar put here, but I am going to worm cam it just to be sure. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, it does. It looks like it's going to be out about the line. Maybe just a slight little touch over it. Pretty similar. Pretty much exactly the same put as yesterday, except for we're just off the green on the fairway. So I'll have it more on the line. 
Oh, I put too. I put way too much on that there. <clears throat> put way, way too much on that. This is even a tricky putt now for a double bogey. This is potentially going to be a triple. Come on, get in there. Get in, get in. So we get away with a double. Unfortunately, it's a double. To finish off, brings back to 10 under, is it? So where do we finish up? Down tied 7th at 31 under. Great score there from Jeffrey at 41 under. Um, Lefty Leon Holden, 2nd place, 35. Uh, I've got Eggfish, Tim and Ty Cobb all tied for 3rd at 33. And TC Dynamos then at 32. And myself tied with Don't Give a Shit at uh, 31 under par. So we'll close out as usual on the scorecard. So pretty much it was almost a flawless front nine there again, just apart from that. Oh, so that's two double bogeys actually. Two double bogeys in that round. Um, so pre I was going to say, pretty much a flawless front nine again, just apart from the uh, apart from that fourth hole. And then very, very good uh, back nine as well, just again, apart from the 18th, that's, that fast backswing. And it was only a fast, but it was fast enough to bring it around to uh bring it around into the water again um but we will leave it there that has been the players championship at tpc sawgrass and the emerald golf tour i uh, hope you did enjoy it if you did do leave it a like and if you haven't already or you're only new to the channel please do subscribe and until the next one which will be the next event in tgc tours on the pga tour i will talk to you then have yourselves a good one take care and bye for now